Hello, this is Pandemic, and I am going to be doing a League of Legends commentary series. Yes, League of Legends, the free-to-play uh, game produced by uh, Riot Games, Inc. And I kind of chose this game because I ran out of WoW time, and I don't really feel like paying for it because I don't spend that much time on it. I spend most of my time on Xbox. But I decided that this is going to be pretty interesting. Now that I got my 15 minute cap removed, I can record League of Legends and find, ah, I personally find that League of Legends is quite fun and hopefully some of you guys do as well. So my intentions for this series are going to be kind of based around the gameplay, but also um, some tips here and there. I see a lot of commentaries that are or not commentaries, but gameplays and live streams and stuff that are based around the 5v5 bracket. And, I, like, 5v5 is okay, it's a lot of fun, yeah, but I think that 3v3 does not get shown enough love. So, I am going to be doing 3v3 and um, show kind of like some of my strategies and things that I do to try to win in 3v3. Um, I know that I'm definitely going to do, like, a Windermere thing because Trindamir is overpowered in 3v3 and will carry teams. So I'm going to give that a shot, do a couple gameplays with him, show you how I play him, what I intend to use. And even though I'm not max level and I have like no runes or anything, it's still um, I still get some wins here and there. The video that you see going on in the background of this commentary, however, is a 5v5 co-op versus AI game. And... I just kind of chose Ash because, I don't know, she's kind of fun with the uh, her ultimate, just shoots a big arrow across the map and uh, try to kill some people, kill steel, or you can assist your teammates and get that extra stun in, so hopefully they'll win whatever fight that is going on in that given area. Um, I, cho I started out with a Duran's Blade and um, did a couple other items later on, but... Uh, the Duran's Blade gives you a little bit of extra health and a little extra damage, so it kind of helps you out in lane. Um, I probably should have chosen better items. I haven't played the game in quite some time now and don't really remember any builds that I use for any of these characters, so I'm going to have to look those up as I go along. And in this, uh, this gameplay, I just kind of threw some stuff together, and it's not even a full gameplay. I just um, wanted some kind of thing going on in the background so that people weren't really bored watching or listening to my voice, because we all know that's boring enough. Um, so I just kind of threw that in there, and I actually didn't even finish the game. I just kind of left. I wanted to test my frame rates and everything while I was recording which uh, I was recording with Fraps, actually, and it's it's pretty good. It doesn't, like, it captures my screen resolution, which is 1366 by 768, I think is what it was. And uh, it's the same aspect ratio as 720 and 1080, but it's just uh, a little bit bigger than 720 and a little bit smaller than 1080. I also wanted to mess around with After Effects and just kind of see... Um, how good the quality was when I put it in there because I was having some quality issues when I was rendering uh, World of Warcraft and what it was is I did a double compression I know my video that I have up on my channel says it was a triple compression but I lied um, what I did is I put the video through Amersoft first to compress it to um, uh, down smaller and then I put it into Adobe After Effects and re-rendered it in H.264 video compression codec and that actually like it made it smaller yet but it um, it takes away a lot of the quality and even after that I did do a triple compression with um, I popped it back into Amersoft and compressed it again but instead of compressing it it actually made it a little bit larger and reduced the quality still so I didn't bother putting that in, I just kind of threw in the other one. But now I realize that if I go into Adobe After Effects, and when I render my video, put it in H.264, I won't have to use Amersoft at all, and my videos come out smaller than they would in Amersoft, which is, uh, it's good, 
because it keeps a lot of the original quality while still making it smaller. And um, so instead of having like a three gigabyte video for like four minutes of footage, I'll have like 30 megabytes. And it makes it so much easier to upload to YouTube, even though it's um, even though it's a little bit lower quality, it's way worth it because when you upload full quality videos that are like 10 gigabytes, 20 gigabytes, it's just ridiculous to upload it. You'll be sitting there for hours and hours and hours, and it's it's not worth it. Just take a small little compression, and um, it hardly takes any quality away. You just got to make sure that when you're using your um, oops, I hit my mic. You got to make sure that when you're using your um, when you uh, when you render and you put it into a composition, you got to make sure that your composition isn't bigger than the resolution that you're capturing it. Otherwise, it's going to stretch and um, it's not going to look very nice. So what I'm going to start doing from now on is, seeing as I'm a little bit over 720p resolution, I'm just going to use a 720p composition and shrink my videos down a little bit and they'll they'll be smaller and it'll actually have slighter higher quality because of the the shrinking so that when I do uh, compress it it doesn't take away as much quality as it would is if I kept my same um, aspect or not aspect um, if I kept my same video ratio but uh, yeah so I know I died in a bot game which is a little bit ridiculous but that's because I was kinda playing um, on the offensive, my laning partner was uh, not the intended area that I wanted to go. I usually go up top or in the middle because I hate bottom lane. And I don't know, I just figured, what the hell, let's be gung-ho and just go for it and see if I can get any kills. And I, I picked up a couple kills and so did my lane partner. And it was, it's fun. The The game as a whole is fun and I, I really enjoy it. I am, if anyone on my channel or watching this video doesn't play League of Legends, I would advise that you try it at least, because it is free and it is fun, and uh, there are a couple things that y you pay for if you want them, like uh, different characters and different skins and stuff like that, but it's not any really big game-changing type deal. So you, you could play for free completely and still have fun if you're kind of a casual gamer. I know that for me it gets kind of costly playing on the Xbox because you have to pay for your Xbox Live, you have to pay the 60 bucks up front for any games that you want to play, and then certain competitive games like Call of Duty, they constantly, they're coming out with map packs, and if you're really hardcore and you want to get the new maps, then you got to pay for them. And to have a free-to-play game at my disposal is um, it's a lot of fun, and it's also going to... Uh, help me out on my channel here because I don't have a capture card for my Xbox yet so anything that I can do extra on the uh, the computer to you know get some more videos out is gonna be good because uh, I can record with fraps and I don't need a capture card anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video and um, expect more of these uh, I'm gonna try to do them weekly if not bi-weekly um, thanks. See ya. Thanks.